Oh, hello, there's a tent. Sanford Junction, headlights in your retinas. Donnelly drove a grey hatchback without a bottom. All the creatures of the tarmac rose to sing to him. All manner of symbols crudely scrawled across the cliff face of my unrest. My life reduced to an electrical diagram. All my gulls have taken flight. They will no longer roost on these outcrops. The lure of the moon over the Sanford Junction is too strong. Fire and soil, I chose fire. It seemed the more contemporary of the options, the more sanitary. I could not bear the thought of the reassembly of such a ruin. Stitching arm to shoulder and femur to hip, charting a line of thread like traffic stilled on a motorway, making it all acceptable for tearful aunts and traumatized uncles flown in specially for the occasion. Reduce to ash, mix with water, make a phosphorescent paint for these rocks and ceilings.
Hall, by the roadside, by the exit for Damascus, all ticking and cooled, all feathers and remorse, all of these signals rooted like traffic through the circuit diagrams of our guts, those badly ridden boats torn bottomless in the swells, washing us forever ashore. Oh. Light from heaven, gone around. Light from heaven. From here, I can see my armada. I collected all the letters I'd ever meant to send to you, if I'd have ever made it to the mainland, but had instead collected at the bottom of my rucksack, and I spread them out along the lost beach. Then I took each and every one, and I folded them into boats. I folded you into the creases, and then, as the sun was setting, I set the fleet to sail. Shattered into 21 pieces, I consigned you to the Atlantic, and I sat here until I'd watched all of you sink. Okay. There's a staircase going up there, but there's there's something over here. Oh, where do I go? Do I go down here? Sudden, a light from heaven gone around him, and he fell to the ground. Shone around him. These stairs here. I will drag my leg behind me. I will drag it like a crumpled hatchback, tires blown and sparking across the dimming lights of my vision. I'm running out of painkillers and am following the flicker of the moon home. When Paul keeled over dead on the road to Damascus, they restarted his heart with the jump leads from a crumpled hatchback. It took 21 attempts to convince it to wake up. I've begun my voyage in a paper boat without a bottom. I will fly to the moon in it. I've been folded along a crease in time, a weakness in the sheet of life. Now you've settled on the opposite side of the paper to me. I can see your traces in the ink that soaks through the fibre, the pulped vegetation. When we become waterlogged and the cage disintegrates, we will intermingle. When this paper aeroplane leaves the cliff edge and carves parallel vapor trails in the dark, we will come together. Let's 
Damascus. If only Donnelly had experienced this, he would have realized he was his own shoreline, as am I. Just as I am becoming this island, so he became his syphilis, retreating into the burning synapses, the stones, the infection. There's a cell tower when you're driving, walking around this lovely area of this, this middle of nowhere. Candles. The headlights reflected in these retinas. Too long in the tunnels of my island without a bottom. The sea creatures have risen to the surface, but the gulls are not here to carry them back to their nests. I've become fixed, open and staring, an eye turned on itself. I've become an infected leg whose tracking lines form a perfect map of the junctions of the M5. I will take the exit at mid-thigh and plummet to my Esther. He was not drunk, Esther. He was not drunk at all. He had not drunk with Donnelly or Spat Jakobsen back at the sea. He had not careered across the lost shores and terminal beaches of this nascent archipelago. He did not intend his bonnet to be crumpled like a spent tissue by the impact. His windscreen was not star-studded all over like a map of the heavens. His paintwork etched with circuit diagrams, strange fish to call the gulls away. The phosphorescence of the skid marks lighting the M5 all the way from Exeter to Damascus.
passing, I will send news to each and every star. Oh, not even. Dear Esther, I have burnt my belongings, my books, this death certificate. Mine will be written all across this island. Who was Jacobson? Who remembers him? Donnelly has written of him, but who was Donnelly who remembers him? I have painted, carved, hewn, scored into this space all that I could draw from him. There will be another to these shores to remember me. I will rise from the ocean like an island without bottom, come together like a stone, become an aerial, a beacon, that they will not forget you. We have always been drawn here. One day the gulls will return and nest in our bones and our history. I will look to my left and see Esther Donnelly flying beside me. I will look to my right and see Paul Jacobson flying beside me. They will leave white lines carved into the air to reach the mainland, where help will be sent. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'll talk while the um, uh, credits are going up. That was a very good game. Um, the quality of the of the graphics, my God. I mean, it was a bit weird because you can't move your um, uh, you can't jump, you can't go any faster forward. But you know what? I don't care. It was fantastic. Um, the the like I say, the graphics was was top notch. It immersed me into the into the game. Um, obviously, you figure out what it was all about, and yeah, very good game. The caves were fantastic. Um, you know the, the 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 amount of work, and then even when you got up onto the um, onto the mountain side and you look down by zooming in with your right click, right mouse key, you can still see all the candles burning. It was it was fantastic. Fantastic game. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't get into that that uh, boat ship, whatever it was, which I thought I was supposed to, but I, of course I wasn't supposed to. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very, very good game. 
I don't know how long these go on for. I tend to leave them going on because they're the ones that built the bloody game, so, you know. Um, we'll see how it goes. The music, oh, the music. I, if I can get the soundtrack, I will do. Um, the music was very good. I enjoyed the music. It, it worked, you know, it was overpowering. Uh, oh, it's made to Unity, that's what it was. So I did get a bit of, um, sometimes with Unity engines, I get a bit of motion sickness. Um, I did get a little bit, not majorly, just a little bit when I was moving around. Um, but yeah, I, I wondered why. Uh, just, I, there are a few people who get, get a Unity. So yeah, very, very good game. Very good game. Um, chop that down. But yeah, very good game. Highly recommend this one. If you've watched it and you want to play it, immerse yourself into a swell, then go for it. But you, you know, you can see what I've got. Um, but I enjoyed the entire game. Very, very much so. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed watching uh, Dear Master. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos, uh, leave a comment on box below if you played this game. I know it's a slow one, it's a walking simulator, but, you know, it, I, that, that's why I wasn't babbling along through the entire game, because it wasn't that kind of game, if you know what I mean? It was that kind of game just to kind of immerse yourself, especially when I got in the caves. So, uh, yeah, definitely so. Okay, well, thank you for watching and goodbye.